a lot of clouds behind me. Looks like a um, weather system is going to be coming in here uh, today, tomorrow, or the weekend. But um, actually, uh, around uh, the East Coast, they're getting uh, pummeled. They're getting some uh, big storms. So on this Friday, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about preparing for the storm. Like, literally, we're preparing for, you know, we don't know how severe, not too severe, not comparatively, but um, there could be some flooding, and uh, there are some areas that are affected more than others, usually, when it uh, rains heavily. Um, I've been reading stories about the preparations people are taking for the storms that are coming in, and unfortunately, you're also hearing the lack of preparation that some people have, you know? They, uh, they don't have in place what they need to survive the storm. And isn't that the case usually when it comes to how we live anyway, every day, you know? It's like, are we prepared for the storms that are coming into our life? It could be obviously weather related, but more importantly, you know, storms that come into our life that we don't see the urgency, you know, as they approach we're not getting the meteorologists with their colorful graphics telling us you know there's a storm coming uh especially like emotionally you know like you have um ups and downs in your life or if you're hit with a very an uncomfortable situation or an untenable situation that really really throws things off kilter if you are not prepared if you're not prepared emotionally if you're not prepared spiritually uh mentally <clears throat> those storms could be a lot worse than what they actually are. And even if they are uh, of a certain magnitude that should knock you off your rails, you know, significantly, you can prepare for them. You can be uh, mentally prepared for when life throws things your way. <clears throat> so what are you doing to prepare for your storms? You know, that uh, also includes financial you know, do you have uh, an emergency fund? God forbid something happens to you. Maybe you uh, could be something as, as simple, unfortunately, as losing a job where you're going to need three to six months of your uh, the money to pay your bills, right? Um, or, you know, maybe it's a disability. Um, maybe it's a loss of a life. What are you doing to prepare? What are you, do preparing, what are you doing to prepare for that storm, that uh, eventuality, unfortunately, sometimes that um, catches a lot of people off guard. You know, I've seen it so many times, even in recent days, that unexpected passings, unfortunately, some by their own hand, others by, you know, accidents, um, unforeseen events that happen, you know, um, and it's terrible. And it's it made even more terrible when it's a situation that could have been avoided or could have been prepared for that, um, would have at least made the circumstance or the situation that we're in survivable. Or maybe it is survivable long term, but it could have been taken care of sooner and earlier. You know, some people have um, religion and they pray and they try and keep their faith in order. And so when the tough times come, they have something to hold on to to get them through the tough times. I know I have in the past. But ask yourself, what are you doing to prepare for your storms, the, the spiritual, the emotional, the mental, the financial, physical? What are you doing? What are you doing to prepare for those? And are you is what you're doing enough? Take a look. Take a look at your preparations and, and decide whether that's going to be enough if something happens. And if it's not, what are you going to do about it? seems to be an ongoing question, right? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Especially if it's not just you. If somebody depends on you, your family, you have children, your loved ones, your parents. Somebody depends on you and you're not prepared for that storm. What are you going to do? Deal with the consequences. You know? Was it an ounce of preparation is worth a pound of cure? What are you going to do? Prepare for the storm. Be strong. Make yourself strong. Fortify yourself. Find good people that can help you get through these things as well. Okay? 
It's a beautiful Friday. Let's make the most of it. And we'll be talking.